Hey, where'd Joe go? He said he was gonna join a gang. They're gonna teach him how to turn his wheelchair into a low ridder. You think he knows what he's doing? Who knows? All I can say is that he's got a lot of guts. He said he's got a lot of guts. I, I can say is that he got a lot of guts. I can say I love it. Cuts doesn't cut it. He needs to be smart about this. He knows the risks. Nobody said the life of being in a gang was easy. It's a... It said the lie is any from the V. Was he? Nobody said the being in the chest. I know. I I still don't think it's a smart move. Gang culture isn't a good thing. I understand where you're coming from, but I think it's a better decision than spending his days cooped up in his room. I suppose he has a point. Let's just hope for his sake that he makes it out alive and unscathed. Okay, so why does everyone keep putting a symbol when he says something? You know, if they wouldn't like this, say something and go. Yeah, what are you getting at, Peter? Well, the only reason people do it is because they expect everyone to drop dead and have a stroke. That's actually the reason. A stroke? Yeah, else well, so would they expect people to respond to their bees? I think I get it. It's a metaphor for the idea that their opinion is so ridiculous and unsubstantiated that it deserves an extreme response. Exactly. Giggity! Hey there, Stewie, check it out. I just bought you this awesome Hot Wheels track builder. Whoa, Dad, that looks really cool. Can I play with it too? Chris, this is Stewie's toy, so I don't think so. Well, it looks great, so what does it do? Well, you can build a track however you like, and then you and your Hot Wheels cars can race each other round and around. Uh, why would you buy a track for someone else, just so you won't have to buy one for yourself? No, Mega bought this for Stewie, and I'm encouraging him to use his intellect in a fun and imaginative way. Yes, I can't wait to see what kinds of crazy tracks I create. That looks awesome. Why was I in my own hole? He was tragic. Chris, maybe if you prove you can take care of your toys, your father will consider it. We'll see Chris all in good time. Now, Stewie, what are you waiting? Quagmire, you shouldn't be looking through some old government documents. But it's so fascinating, Gigan. Quagmire, you gotta be careful. The government might come after you if they find out. You think the FBI is gonna come after Quagmire? Laos, please, give the guy a break. Don't make fun of him, Dad. I think Quagmire's onto something here. Yeah, he might find out some pretty big secrets and become famous. You kid it, that's it. I'm going to uncover these secrets and make a lot of money. Oh, that's a dangerous game, Quagmire. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course, nothing can go wrong. Get an angry, Quagmire, if the FBI finds out, you'll be done for. That's right, Quagmire. You should be more careful. <laughs> Son of a car, what's that? Happy Bedford Day, Stewie. Tell us what's going on. Oh, oh. Someone has decided to put a couple of bedbugs on my mattress. Bedbugs are disgusting! But how do you get rid of them? Well, and tried and true method is to call in a pest control expert. So vacuuming the infested roy is a good idea since it can help remove bedbugs and their eggs. You should always block the bedbugs' safe harborageries as well. That all sounds like a lot of work. Are there any home remedies? Some people try to use gas, but it can be dangerous and often doesn't work. Rubbing all cool. It may just be other the two safest and easiest solutions I could think of. Higgity, I think the quickest way to get rid of bad things is to just burn the mattress. How about washing the sheets and mattress covers in hot water? That's a great idea, Mott. Our waiter will also help kill the eggs that may. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Stewie and Lois? Stewie just found a new hobby that he's really excited about. Screw, I've started a new project. I'm serving caterpillars from the harvest spot. Say those poor babies. Yes, caterpillars are very sensitive to hot temperatures. I've carefully been relocating them into cooler spots of grass nearby. That's great, Stewie. I know you had such a soft heart. Yeah, I figure I'm contributing to the harmonious balance of nature by making so these animals stay safe where I can. Thus, I'm learning a valuable skill set in conservation. Cool, Stewie! Okay! Yeah, me too. Can I do it in? Don't worry, Stewie. You don't have to let everyone in this time. I already showed them enough of your projects. Yeah, that's true. A oh, silly I had sharing, but this honor I'm proud of. Here's what you can do to help gather the cater. Alright, let's get this over with more. Go on. My anus wishes to consume you. Oh? Come on, more. It's not the most subtle way of expressing yourself. Alright, everyone, keep it together. Brian, why don't you lighten the mode? Hey, got it. Let's talk about something inspiring like overthrowing the extreme government regulations that are crippling our small businesses right now. Hey, soon, Brian. Come on, guys, chill out. What? You don't have to do this if it's too awkward. Now I said I do it, so here it goes. My anus wishes to consume you. Stan can't get any more. It's Oak. Let's just all take a deep breath and move on. All right, everyone seems to be in agreement. Knowledge is power, so let's remember what just transpired here. Honey, I thought I just said. Yes, we hear. Hey everybody, look what I found in the closet in our old Nintendo 64. Be right away. Oh my ghost, that was my favorite game system when I was growing up. Oh, those were the days. Oh, knew they were. I remember playing this thing for halls. Great, that settles it. I'm gonna invite Quagmire Cleveland and Joe over for a Mario Party Goldeneye and Mario Kart Tourney. That sounds awesome. Uh, great, I'm sure you guys will just leave me out like you all. Don't be like that. It's gonna be a blast. Absolutely. Plus, I've got a few new straight to get mob ideas for everyone to check out if they are for it. Giggity. Sounds like a night of gaming fun. Count me in. I'm always up for some old school gaming. The kids don't need me at the station for another shift, so let's do it. Gonna do a little ditty, gonna do a little jig, gonna sing you the theme from free. <laughs> oh,